Hi guys, I am Tersh with Unique Me 303 Healing and Empowerment. This message is going to be for the week ahead. This will be Ascension messages. So for all those who are aware that they're on Ascension journey, just awakening to an Ascension journey and know that they are going through an awakening process. So let's see what messages Spirit has for us for the week ahead. I got so used to doing live readings um, and saying a different saying that I got out of uh, the whole ascension messages but these are ascension messages all of them are so they told me five I wasn't expecting five okay let's see here all right so A lot of us are on a journey to, to discovering or uh, becoming more aware of, maybe even getting more in tune with their masculine energy. This card could be a card of also respecting masculine energy or the male energy or male, males in general. So not just masculine energy. There's two, two separate things. There's the males, the human male, and then there's the masculine energy that which is in control, um, knows what it wants. I can't remember what all the masculine energy is, is about. I kind of got stuck on that. But um, anyway, some of you are getting into this masculine energy or either balancing between the masculine and feminine energy is what I'm hearing as well because they're showing me the female on this card and the masculine on this card. And I'm feeling as if for some of you, this is a reference to you becoming in balance between both of them for some of you your masculine is the logical mind um that which thinks things through differently than the feminine energy which is more of an intuitive mind so they they work through their intuition and uh make decisions based off their intuition and when we don't have that balance of the masculine energy to think logically sometimes that can get us in a little bit of trouble or vice versa so there is some sort of established uh, a time of becoming more established or more aligned with these two energies but more so aligned with the masculine energies um, for some of you there's some some kind of journey that's ending and a new journey beginning for some of you this is going to be something to do with a bank or with money because I'm seeing a bank and I'm seeing money uh, being withdrawn as well as put in so maybe some of you are taking out some sort of money to to be able to start a business and then there's going to be money being put back in because of the business but something is getting established at this time something is setting firm foundations a lot of you may 303 guys look that up on sacred scribes a lot of you may even feel as if you are um uh what am I trying to say? Becoming more accomplished in something, okay? For some of you, you even feel like you've arrived to a certain destination or maybe you've arrived to a certain goal and now you don't know what to do because I'm getting this feeling of some of you getting to the point of what you've been wanting to get to, whether it be 333, whether it be with your goals, your relationships, your career, your spiritual journey, what have you, and some of you don't know what to do with it. Now that you've got the things that you've asked for, you don't know what to do. Three, four, five guys, look that up as well. But what Spirit is saying is to just stay in the present moment. For some of you, you need to get into a state of meditation. This is a card of time out. Get in solitude. Be alone. This solitude has been coming out quite a bit lately. I've been feeling the need to be alone, to meditate, to do healing, things of that sort. But for some of you, it's just about getting to that zero point energy, getting into this point of the void or where you feel bliss or maybe everything and, and um, nothing all at the same time. That is zero point energy. But this is talking about living in the now moment, being present, um, not focusing on too much of what is going to happen in the future. Even if you have those clairvoyant visions of what is going to happen, Spirit's asking you not to dwell on those, not to... Uh, you know, think too much ahead of time, but to just stay now. Um, this is about nowness, okay? For many of you, you are coming into a new cycle, okay? We just started like a, um, when we had the lunar eclipse, we started for the next five or six months, we're going to start having things coming to us, uh, situations starting to become established. For some of us, this is 
why you don't know exactly what you're supposed to be doing with the energy that you've arrived to. And what Spirit is saying is within the next five to six months, those things are going to be revealed to you. Okay, through certain situations, through certain uh, synchronicities, maybe even visions that you're having or dreams, maybe. Um, maybe people, places, and things are just going to confirm things to you in some way, shape, or form. But what Spirit is saying is expect the next five to six months to be nothing but figuring out how to do whatever you need to do with what you've arrived to okay whether it be a certain spiritual situation um you've arrived um to a new point um or commitment in a relationship and now what's next okay that is going to be revealed within the next five to six months so a lot of you are in need of meditating taking some time alone so that you can start to see some of that to be revealed okay for some of you, there's just little steps that you need to be putting in at this time, and Spirit saying the rest of it will be figured out in due time. Um, there's a lot of new beginnings here because we have one, two, three ones, and um, two of the cards are ten. So there's a lot of new beginnings, endings, and conclusions as well. A lot of things that are going to be even revealed to you at this time. But for some of you, the need for connecting with the moon is going to be important. Okay. Maybe some of you, this is about connecting so you can see what kind of energies that you pull in during full moons, you know, uh, the new moons, whatever it is. I know for full moons, for me, it's when I'm letting go of something, uh, a situation, a person, a place, a thing, a, an event, whatever it is. And then new moons for me are all about um, starting something new. Maybe even something that I've already let go of, bringing it back into my life and redoing it. For some of you, you may be starting something all over again right now. For whatever reason, I'm feeling uh, that one of your new cycles is to go back into something that you may have uh, 20 years ago been in or maybe 10 years ago uh, had an idea for a certain um, type of invention or career or something business maybe and you put time and energy into it and it just wasn't the right time so it didn't work out and spirit saying now it's time to revisit that and for some of you you're only going to gain awareness of that by getting in, into meditation you don't have to sit and lay down to meditate with your eyes closed you can do the dishes you can take a walk you can you can drive your car around and listen to music there are so many different ways of clearing our mind and and that's exactly what we need to do um which cards do i go to please thank you What other messages do you have for us, please? Ascension messages for all those. Thank you. So for some of you, it's about nourishing your garden. This is physical nourishment, uh, self-love, self-care. This is also referring to nourishing the seeds around you. So a lot of you have planted a lot of seeds and now these doors are opening or you're starting to manifest things 818 because of the seeds that you planted, but some of them need nourished so that it can grow a little bit more. So if you've had a business and uh, that was one of your seed or started a business and that was one of your seeds and then you kind of let go of it for just a little bit because you felt wore out or bored or what have you, spirit saying, okay, now it's time to nourish it again. You've had a little bit of a time of of solitude and time out but now nourish your garden nourish those seeds and watch them grow because a lot of times when we just back off of something and we can see things from a totally different perspective we learn what we need to do differently and things will be more beneficial or be more um rewarding maybe even uh more beneficial this could be also a card of needing to have some rest, but for what I'm feeling is it's like telling a story. After this time of, of time out and uh, connecting with zero point energy and things of that sort, it's time to nourish your garden because when you nourish your garden, there's going to be some blessings that come along with it. So the season Mentaka is all about seeing potential in some sort of situation or something like that. And what I feel like this is referring to is a lot of you are stepping out of 
not stepping out of more more of getting in the balance of the masculine and feminine energies and a balance between using your intuition and your logical brain okay a lot of you are processing through the ego which is doubts and fears the the negative part of the ego and getting into the logical part of the ego and figuring things out by putting the intuitive part together with the logical part so the masculine energy with the feminine energy so a lot of potential is coming to many of you this is a card of success potential seeing your potential potential um the darkness coming to the light to be revealed i am itching a lot in my head so a lot of you may have some crown activations or maybe uh feel very connected with your crown chakra at this time um breath of the cosmos is all about a faded event a faded situation so for some of you I'm just going to use like your spiritual practice for, for some of you you've been asked to open up a spiritual practice you've been doing healing for many years on yourself learning how to heal others maybe even taking courses in Reiki or Kundalini yoga or something of that sort and now spirit uh, has asked you to open up this um, spiritual practice and start using these gifts to help mankind to evolve okay and or ascend and what's what is the spirit is saying is that this is a faded situation it's not something that you can get out of you may try to like beat around the bush or take the long way around but eventually you're going to get back to this exact spot okay 11 11 whether it's with a relationship with your finances or career um it could just be with your spiritual uh talents and gifts and and using them in some way shape or form but there's something that is a faded event and spirit saying try not to micromanage what we're doing for you or putting in front of you because this is destiny this is something that you're meant to do you've had a contract before you were even born i'm going to do this there's no way i can back out of it so a lot of you may even have some things that are being revealed to you about that again being in the the now moment being still and being present is really going to help you to see what spirit is is trying to show you about this destiny or this fate okay some of you it might even be a twin flame connection where you're supposed to be doing some sort of uh practice together or maybe having a business together is what i'm seeing um even feeling as if somebody uh some some twin connection is meant to write books that are enlightening um providing a lot of information for others but this is asking you to not micromanage not try to force some sort of outcome in some way shape or form okay i used to be really good for trying to do that um and not even realizing that i was doing that it was just something that i was so programmed to do and so used to doing um and you know that's something that i work really hard on not doing and now um you know it's more of i'm trying to find balance between sticking up for myself and um in a in the right manner versus just walking away and not uh, getting into a solution okay so yeah working on that micromanaging that's for sure which cards do i go to please thank you what other messages do you have for us please for the week ahead ascension messages for all those aware they're on ascension journey and going through an awakening process please what messages do you have for us so you're being asked to protect your energy some of you this is about carrying stones like obsidian which is what this this card is black obsidian black tourmaline maybe even um kyanite or uh, i'm seeing red stones as well for whatever reason i see red and black stones for for grounding and protecting so you this is also a root chakra card so a card of protecting your energy as well as grounding your energy or maybe even setting some sort of firm foundations or establishing a foundation within some sort of situation in your life but um the honesty card is seraphonite is about honesty and it's asking you to be honest with yourself what kind of situations do you still need to take yourself out of what kind of situations or energies do you need to put yourself into and apply yourself a little bit more um is there something that you're doing that you're co you're codependent on that you need to release at this time what is it okay so cutting some cords letting go of some things some of you this is going to be things that have to do with um uh, the ego and fear letting go of doubts fears the ego uh, maybe some of you are too much in your masculine energy and too logical and need to get more balanced with your intuition 
um, and, and instead of depending on the logical. So many of you are learning lessons, you know, in not just the masculine energy, but having the right kind of control, not trying to have control and trying to force an outcome, but but having control of your emotions, having control of not overthinking or underthinking, um, ha having that um, balance between the masculine and feminine energies, intuition and logic, control and just going with the flow. Um, which cards do I go to, please? Which cards? Thank you. What other messages do you have for us, please, for the week ahead? Ascension messages for the week ahead. For all people already aware they're on an ascension journey, just newly awakened. Okay, so discovery. And I feel like this discovery has a lot to do with this masculine energy and the balance between the masculine and feminine. For some of you, this is discovery of your talents, your gifts, your abilities. Um... I feel like there's a lot of newly awakened people watching this channel right now. And what I'm getting from this is a lot of you are like in this, this place of a veil being lifted. A lot of truths being revealed to you. Truths about the world, about our government, about ETs, um, about, uh, um, what am I trying to say? UFOs. I couldn't get the right word out, but UFOs. It could be about religions, anything that could be something that um, maybe you had an ideal or a thought or somebody had, you know, growing up or something had programmed you to believe a certain way. And then all of a sudden you're, you're awakened to the truth of it. And it's kind of put, putting you into this place of like feeling like you've hit rock bottom or maybe you're in a grieving process because you're relearning the truth of things, okay? Some of you are even connecting uh, during meditation with like the Egyptian times, um, older times of Egyptian times. And also I'm hearing like Alinganus and Lemuria. So a lot of you are even connecting with things like that and learning about crystal energy, earth energy, earth spirituality, things of that sort. So you're awakening to more of like the um, the golden age uh, type of spiritual stuff is what I'm feeling with this. Let me get another one real quick. Okay, for a lot of you, you're having visions of things to come, of what still needs to change. A lot of you are having visions of how you are trying to force outcomes and how you can try to back up and get balance um, for the masculine energy or with the masculine energy, I should say. I feel like some of you um, are see starting to see things very, very clearly. And this, I feel, is a lot of people who have been awakened for quite some time. And maybe you're some of those that are finally in this energy of arriving to where you need to be, but not knowing to knowing what to do with the energy that you've arrived at. So some of, some of what is going to help you is the visions that you're going to have. These are clear visions. Again, we're going to be balancing out uh, between the intuition and the logical mind, the masculine and the feminine. So... It's, it's going to be real important that when you have these visions that you also think logically about what you're having visions of. Yes, they're saying. A lot of you are going into a new committed relationship or a new um, romantic, I should say. It, not necessarily committed, but a romantic relationship. There's a lot of love in the air, a lot of flirtation, a lot of romance is what I'm hearing. I do feel like Cupid's arrow is, is pointed at somebody at this time and I, I kind of feel like um, luck or the universe is on your side. So if you're somebody that's think yeah, romance is the next card that came out. So if you're somebody that's been thinking about taking something to a new level or maybe asking somebody out on a date or something like this, this is the Spirit's way of saying it's time. 
okay? And of course, that's not going to resonate with everybody, but if you're somebody that came uh, looking for that kind of answer or was searching for an answer about love and romance, then there it is, okay? Yeah, some of you are in a process of a lot of change, movement, um, from one direction to another direction and still not knowing exactly what you're supposed to be doing or what the next move is. And I have double twos here, guys, so you might want to check that out, uh, 22. But um, I feel like for some of you, you're moving in a direction of trying to navigate through a new connection. And this is it could be a new connection and a romantic connection. It could be a new connection with spirit, a new connection with somebody at work or what have you. But I feel like a lot of you, this is referring to a romantic connection. And you're kind of uh, being navigated to and through something. And a lot uh, a lot of you along that way are having like these, these times, I'm not going to say roadblocks, but these times where you kind of hit a little bit of a block because you are too logical about something or uh, feel like you need to be too much in control like the masculine energy would and this is the time when spirit says think more about what your intuition has been telling you try to clear your mind out in some way shape or form so that you can see the truth of this but I feel like many of you are, along the way are just learning these lessons and balancing out these energies and as you do you're going to start to see that these challenges as you're ba balancing out these energies the challenges in this new connection or new connections are going to just start to even out okay they're not going to be as challenging you're going to start to see that as um these energies balance that things just start to work out a little bit differently okay um Just like I was telling you guys, Cupid's arrow. I, I see that again. And I didn't even see that on the card before, but I see it again. So, some of you are going to start feeling a little on top of the world. More balance, more harmony. Um, but at the cost of some things being lost. Okay, so leaving people behind, leaving jobs behind. Maybe um, relationships, what have you, maybe even third party situations to be in a new connection that is more beneficial to you, that brings you more harmony and peace, that also helps you to move forward in, in your, your life and whatever it is that you're wanting to do. For a lot of you, you're discovering the things that you need to do to find that balance and harmony. Maybe spirit saying, okay, if you let go of such and such ideas, or maybe if you let go of so-and-so uh, in your life, or maybe this job will be better than that job, then that balance is going to come. So there's going to be a lot of things that are going to be discovered that are going to help you to see the direction that you need to go. But again, remember, these lessons and balancing out the masculine and feminine are going to be a little bit challenging for those of you who are not used to doing that. Um, and I forgot about this card, restless. So some of you may feel a little restless. You may be feel, feeling a little bit wore out. I have been feeling very wore out. Um, I have been, um, uh, I don't even know what the best way of saying this is. In a connection with somebody that, um, is very wishy-washy back and forth. I'm learning about not being in control, but standing up for myself and, this and that and it is wearing me the flip out okay it's making me want to run far 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 away it's making me want to just um you know whatever and um and not allow myself to get hurt in some way shape or form but but um I'm also learning those lessons in the balance between the masculine and feminine I am very very much in both of my energies two three three two i was told to tell you guys but um a lot of times i have a hard time with balancing out um i i like to go more on my intuition and not thinking about logically how it could make other people feel or um i don't think that well others aren't uh, seeing intuitively or they may not have visions of how i see things going to happen so i got to think logically about how they may be coming or, or how they may be feeling things or something of that sort but so a lot of you are going through some energies like that for sure okay guys i'm going to get you a couple popsicle sticks i've been on here for quite some time i'm not going to do any healing today um Pulled three of them here but four wanted to come out so I'm going to take them 
Um, anyway, I'm not going to do some healing today. I have been working my butt off all day. So, sacral chakra, it's, it governs how you feel sexuality, creative expression, emotions, and manifestation. Passions, it says to go after them, okay? 2442, guys, and 2444. I am unconditional love. Oh, I am in a state of mastering. I will push through any insecurities I may have. And I will rest as I experience ascension symptoms for with them. Also comes growth. My soul knows this. And the I am affirmations today. I am gifted beyond measure. I am grateful for the gifts in my life. I am a warrior. I am accomplished. Okay, guys, please like, share, subscribe, and follow. Let me know down in the comments below if this reading resonates with you. Please help me to get my channel growing so I can get to a thousand subscribers and be able to go live on my phone. I no longer have a laptop where I can I can go live to do free readings for you guys or even paid readings on YouTube. So please um, help me to grow this channel by liking the videos and commenting, sharing. Any of those things are greatly appreciated. But if you're, inter um, if you're interested in being entered in to win a full reading giveaway at the beginning of the month, please like this video as well as putting your name in the comments or an I am affirmation along with the date and um, I will put you on the list to be entered in to win that uh, full reading giveaway. I hope that everybody has a wonderful day. Please go check out my Facebook group, which is Healing readings empowerment and more um, from where i can't do the live uh readings on here until i get a thousand subscribers i am doing them just strict uh, just on that group so please go check that out and uh, follow that group so you can get some notifications on that i hope everybody has a wonderful night much love to you guys bye